Take a look. This video here is showing Spartanburg police officers. They're making an arrest behind me, and this is getting a lot of attention tonight. The man arrested claims he's the victim of excessive force and has filed a complaint. But as seven on your side's Rochelle Spence showed this video to law enforcement experts who say these officers handled a difficult situation with professionalism. Yeah, I, I got you on record. No? Uh-uh. This is a cell phone video Jarvis Terrell says captures Spartanburg police officers using excessive force. According to reports, officers responded Sunday after someone reported Terrell was involved in a domestic dispute. He punching him! He punching him! And the report says officers noticed a metallic bulge in the man's pocket and asked to pat him down, but he refused. Yeah, he can't get hit in this man. What the hell? Uh, the one officer is attempting to do a knee strike to his thigh, which is a standard uh, defensive uh, technique. We took the video to criminal justice professor and former police chief Dr. Mike Wilkie. He retired after 25 years in law enforcement. If the man had simply said, okay, when the police told him that he was under arrest, none of that would have ever happened. He used to work as a defensive tactics instructor and says he doesn't find the force improper or excessive. Yo, these people, these men down here punching all on jaw in his face and now. In the entirety of that video, the whole time that, that, that the law enforcement is in contact with this individual, he's resisting at every moment. By Wednesday evening, the video reached nearly 20,000 views, and with other recordings like it becoming more popular, Dr. Wilkie believes all of those videos can be a good thing because they promote transparency between the police departments and the community. Our actions should be open to public scrutiny. That's perfectly fine. But as for the woman yelling while recording the arrest, just be still, because these my he says that only escalates an already difficult situation. You want to stand there and videotape, that's one thing. But then to throw in, trying to throw kerosene on the fire, as, as this individual apparently was, that just, there's not a call, no call for that. Terrell faces charges of trespassing and two counts of assault and battery. He's filed a formal complaint with the department, which is being investigated, all while this video continues to be shared. In Spartanburg, Rochelle Spence, 7 on your side. According to the report, Terrell refused to pat down, and the bulge in his pocket wound up being a wallet and a set of keys. One officer says he got a bloody nose, the other a small scrape, and Terrell went to the hospital before going.